November, Beach Kids. I'm so excited you're here for Beach Kids Online for preschoolers. My name is Courtney. Can you yell out your name right now? Whoa, I am so glad that you have joined us today. We have some fun things in store. In November, we hear a lot of people talk about being thankful. Have you ever heard that before? There's always a reason to be thankful. And this month, we're gonna talk about why we can give thanks to God. So, we're gonna have a parade. Did you know at Thanksgiving, there's a big parade? And we're gonna celebrate all month long why we can give thanks to God. But I'm gonna need your help, all right? So when I ask the question, who can give thanks to God? I want you to say, I can give thanks to God. You got it? Okay, I think we should do a thumbs up. What do you think about that? So. Who can give thanks to God? I want you to say, I can give thanks to God. Yeah, right like that. Let's try it one more time. Who can give thanks to God? I can give thanks to God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Now, you know when we come here for Beach Kids Online, we do three important things. We worship and honor God by singing and dancing. Second, we open his word and we hear a true story about something he wants us to know. And then third, we talk to him by praying every single time. So I'm ready to get my dance move started today. Are you ready to sing out loud and dance with me? Okie dokie, artichokies, let's do it. Let's worship God together right now. I'm
Man, that was such a fun praise party. I love to move my body and sing with my voice as loud as I possibly can to worship the God who made me. Did you know that God made you? It's true, he did. The God who made you and me, he gave us his word. We call it the Bible. Did you bring your pretend Bible with you today? You did? <gasps> okay, well, if you didn't, I imagine there's a cornucopia right in front of you and I want you to pull it out. You ready? One, two, three. Whoop. There it is. Let's open up God's word, the Bible together. One, two, Oh, friends, friends, this is a really good one. This verse is found in the New Testament. Can we flip to the New Testament together? Oh, okay, this is so good. So I've been practicing my sign language, so I wanna practice it with you. This verse says, always give thanks to God. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our pointer finger and we're gonna say always. We're gonna do like a loop like this. Can you do that? Oh yeah, say always. Good job. And then we're gonna take our, our, our hand to our, our mouth and we're gonna say, give thanks. Can you do that? Give thanks. And then God in sign language is taking our hand like this and going down like this. We're gonna say, oh. we're gonna say always give thanks. And then to God. Can you say that? To God. Perfect. All right, let's say it all together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Always give thanks to God. That's right. We have so much to be thankful for. God has given us so much. And this month, he wants to show us some friends in the Bible that also had a reason to give thanks to God. So today, we're going to go to the clubhouse and we're going to dive on in together. But first, we have to call Ollie because he's got a story to tell us. So on the count of three, let's call Ollie. One, two, three. Ollie. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. friends, I'm Jayla, and I was just getting ready for our parade of things. I can't wait for the parade. I'm gonna ride on a float. One of my favorite parts of a parade is when people throw treats off the parade floats. We're gonna throw goldfish crackers. We're gonna throw fruit snacks. Wow. Thinking of all these snacks is making me hungry. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Feeling hungry, are you? Hi, Ollie. I'm thinking about snacks for the parade, and it's making me hungry. Yummy food is good. It's true. I know some people who were super hungry, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Follow me through, follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hi friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. And wow, oh wow, I am thankful today. Thank you God for this beautiful day and for the colorful leaves and for the pumpkin donut I had this morning. And in today's story, some people learn to thank God for their food. Do you want to hear it? Great! Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with some people called the Israelites. Everyone say hello! Hello! Look at their faces. Do the Israelites look happy? No, they don't. They look very unhappy. The Israelites were walking in a desert. There are no trees to sit under in a desert. There is no cool water to swim in. There are no grocery stores or restaurants for food. And the Israelites had been walking in a hot desert for a very long time. They walked and they walked and they walked. What was that? 
Did you hear that? That sounds like someone's tummy growling. Is your tummy growling? My tummy isn't growling. It must be the Israelites. What does it mean when someone's tummy is growling? Yes, it means they are hungry. And the Israelites were very hungry because they didn't have any food. God knew that the Israelites needed food. So he told their leader Moses that he would send meat at night and bread in the morning. Wow, God is so good. That night, they had plenty of meat to eat for dinner. Everyone was so happy to have food. Let's say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Then the next morning, there were small pieces of bread all over the ground for the people to eat. Let's say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Every day, God made sure the people had meat to eat at night and bread to eat in the morning. Wow, God is so good. God gave the Israelites food to eat. Wow, we can thank God for food. Thank you, God, for our food. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. God gave the Israelites food, and God gives us food, too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God gave the Israelites bread and meat to eat every day, and God can give us food, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Good. I am so thankful God gives us food. I can't wait to share all these treats at the parade. And maybe I'll have a snack right now. See you next time. Bye. God has given us so much. He's given us our bodies so that we can honor Him. He's given our friends and our family to us, and we can give thanks for them. He's given us our teachers, our homes, our schools, all of these different things we can be grateful for. We can give thanks to God because of them. So today, I want us to talk to God and actually say thank you to God together. We call talking to God praying. I like to put my hands together, close my eyes so I can focus on talking to my friend God. You should do the same. Let's do it together. Repeat after me. Say, dear God, I am so thankful that you are my friend. Thank you for loving me and giving me everything I need. Help me to remember, I can always give thanks to you. We love you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, friends. We can always give thanks to God. Anytime, anywhere, about anything, we can thank God for everything. Who can give thanks to God? That's right. I can give thanks to God. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I will see you next time at Beach Kids Online. Goodbye. We gotta go, but
will see you again. Oh, come on. Good.